Hello and welcome to the next installment of our Joomla 2.5 video series. Today we'll be discussing the terrific blog component, EasyBlog. Here's what it looks like on our Joomla 2.5 website. The Compassionate Action Network blog. We have tabs here for home categories, tags, bloggers, team blogs, search, and login. You can subscribe to the blog. Here's a typical entry. This is posted by Eric Cohen. If he happened to have an image of himself uploaded to Gravatar, it would display here. Hopefully we'll have him do that. As we scroll down, we'll see it's just an introductory few paragraphs. Tags, observations, how many hits it's received. You could tweet it or vote for it. If we click continue reading, here we see the full blog post. And as we scroll down, then we have the ability to rate it, to tweet it, to share it on different social networks, some related articles, a tab about the author, and Facebook comments. So how do we add a new blog post using EasyBlog? Let's go to the back end of the website, and here we'll navigate to Components and EasyBlog, and here's the control panel for EasyBlog. And right up top, we can click here to add a new post. Our blog posts live inside the EasyBlog component. They won't be available like articles are in the typical article manager of Joomla. They'll be living here inside EasyBlog. We can give our article a title. The permalink will automatically be created for us. We can add our text here, just like we work in articles. Add images, etc. And then we have some publishing options here on the right-hand side. By default, everything will be in the blog category. We can change the publishing date. Say we don't want this to go live for another week or next month. If we do several blog posts all at once and want them to trickle out, we can enable or disable comments, subscription, display on the front page. That's the front page of the blog. And we can click here on metadata. Again, for search engine optimization, we can give this post a description and some keywords. And we can add tags. If I click here, all of our existing tags are available for me to click and it will add. All I have to do is click it and it will add it. And if you need to create new tags, we'll cover that shortly. But that is the long and short of adding a new blog post. It's very easy. I don't want to save this, so I'm going to click cancel. And here we see our two existing blog entries. I can edit these and change any of the information on them. I can click here on this one and take a look at it. I don't want to make any changes, so I'm going to hit cancel. The overall blog settings would be located here on the settings tab. And there are a great deal of settings that we can adjust. The blog title, the blog description, you can go through this. Whether we should enable comments, etc. The default layout, there are several different templates for the blog that you can choose from, notifications, whether or not the site administrator should be notified of new posts or new comments, integrations, if there are other extensions, in particular Job Social, if you have a community site, you can integrate my blog with Job Social. One of the best features of EasyBlog is how easy they make it to add social integrations, where you can add Twitter buttons, and you can review all of these different settings in here and how to customize those. Facebook integrations. If we were to have our own app ID and app secret as a Facebook developer, we could fully enable Facebook with that. But we can also have our Facebook likes, what style we would like that to look like. Google integration, which is wonderful. I have the plus one button on every post. There's a tab for Dig and LinkedIn and Stumble Upon and other social tools. And you can take a look at all these configuration options. Uh, there are usually explanations on each one. If you mouse over, you'll see an explanation of what each of these is. So those are the overall settings of EasyBlog. Of course, we have categories. We're using just one main category, but you could add several categories here quite easily. And tags. We have a great deal of tags that we've added here. And if we needed more, obviously it would be very easy to add new tags. The tab for comments. If you have a very popular blog, you'll have a list of all the comments here where you'll be able to approve them. Or if they're spammy, you can delete them and not let them show up. A list of who is blogging on the website. And you can assign bloggers to specific teams. So there are a lot of great settings within EasyBlog. It's very easy to manage your blog, post with your blog, approve comments, and have great social integrations. It's short, but that's our description of the easy blog component for Joomla 2.5. I hope that helped explain it for you. We really recommend this extension and catch our next video.